Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hands. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth reach We gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With humble heart, together we say, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters to, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. The children of Israel lamented, Would that we had meat for food. We remember the fish we used to eat without cost in Egypt, and the cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. But now we are famished. We see nothing before us but this manna. Manna was like coriander seed and had the color of resin. When they had gone about and gathered it up, the people would grind it between millstone or pound it in a mortar, then cook it in a pot and make it into loaves which tasted like cakes made with oil. At night when the dew fell upon the camp, the manna also fell. When Moses heard the people, family after family, crying out the entrance of their tents, so that the Lord became very angry, he was grieved. Why do you treat your servants so badly? Moses asked the Lord. Why are you so displeased with me that you burden me with all these people? Was it I who conceived all these people? 
or was it I who gave them birth, that you tell me to carry them at my bosom, like a foster father carrying an infant to the land you have promised under oath to their fathers? Where can I get meat to give to all these people? For they are crying to me, give us meat for our food. I cannot carry all these people by myself for they are too heavy for me. If this is the way you will deal with me, then please do me the favor of killing me at once, so that I need no longer face this distress. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing with joy to God, our help. Sing with joy to God, our help. My people heard not my voice, and Israel obeyed me not. So I gave them up to the hardness of their hearts. They walk according to their own counsels. Sing with joy to God our help. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, quickly would I humble their enemies, Against their foes, I will turn my hand. Sing with joy to God our help. Those who hated the Lord would seek to flatter me, but their faith would endure forever. While Israel, I will feed the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock, I would fill them. Sing with joy to God our help. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus heard of the death of John the Baptist, he withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. The crowds heard of this and followed him on foot from their towns. When he disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, and he cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples approached him and said, This is a deserted place, and it is already late. Dismiss the crowds so that they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. He said to them, there is no need for them to go away. Give them some food yourselves. But they said to him, Five loaves and two fish are all we have here. Then he said, Bring them to here to me. And he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he said the blessing, broke the loaves, and give them to the disciples, who in turn give them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, twelve weaker baskets full. Those who ate were about five thousand men, not counting women and children. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. As we continue our journey, and we are now in the eighth and week and ordinary time, we are gathered today to give thanks to the Lord, to honor 
and acknowledge the presence of giving His blessings each one of us by praising the Lord and thanking Him. And my dear brothers and sisters, we used to pray from the biblical text that assured us of His presence and granted our request. And we would say, Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and shall be opened unto you. A prayer of assurance that we are not abandoned ever since. We have faithful and generous God who is always taking care of us in totality. Inaalagaan tayo ng Diyos. Inaalagaan tayo sa ating paglalakbay na kung saan nandoon ang patnubay, nandoon ang kanyang presensya, nandoon ang kanyang biyaya na ipinagkakalob sa atin. Mother, brothers and sisters, our belongingness to Him will never fail. Hindi tayo napapawalay kailanman kung tatanggapin natin ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Yesterday, we celebrated the Feast of Transfiguration of Jesus, showing and revealing His divinity to us. He is powerful God's Son, who is perfect image of the Father. He is not far from us as we journey all together, as we exist every day here on earth. Though the divinity of Jesus was revealed to us, and we come to us also in full human state. That's why in our gospel today, we can see truly the human side of our Lord. When He disembarked and saw the vast crowd, His heart was moved with pity for them. This is the very nature of God towards us, my dear brothers and sisters. He exhibits to us His attitude with genuine love and sincere compassion. His response was so directly to what the people needed. His presence is just like a magnet that brought the people gathered to receive and experience His profound love and compassion. Truly, divine and human concerns are always beneficent to our lives. Manifestation of extraordinary event which divine intervention in human affairs. Jesus said to them, to His disciples, there is no need for them to go away. Give them food, some food yourselves. Then the miracle happened. By five loaves and two fish, Jesus was able to feed more than 5,000 and there were many leftovers. Mother, brothers, and sisters, a miracle happens, always happens, if Jesus is in our midst. Mangyayari ang mga imposible na posible sa Diyos kung ang Diyos ay nasa atin. Kaya wag po tayong mangamba, wag tayong matakot, Kung tayo ay nawawalan o kung tayo ay naghahanap, tanggapin natin si Jesus, may mangyayaring tulad ng ginawa ni Jesus ngayon. Ibinibigay niya ang pangangailangan ng bawat isa. He is always ready to give immense power to us who is in need. Kaya nga po, dumudulog tayo. Kaya nga po, lumalapit tayo. Kaya nga po, nananalangin tayo. Pagdulog natin sa Kanya, nandyan ang kapangyarihan. Dahil alam ng Diyos na kinakailangan natin siya. 
hindi niya ito ipinagkakait sa atin, ibinibigay palagi ito sa ating lahat. Kailangan lang natin lumapit at sumunod sa Kanya. That is why there is an abundance when we offer and give thanks and have a genuine dependency on Him. Manatili tayo sa Kanya. Hindi tayo mawawalan. Hindi tayo maghahanap. Palagi siyang nandyan. Like the crowds in our gospel today, they were willing to submit to Him and cooperate to Him. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the invitation for all of us. Let us do a submission of ourselves to our Lord and He will take care of all of us, whatever it is for us to remember that God created all the goods of the world to make our lives satisfied and complete. And this is our prayer for today. Sana maging kumpleto at puno ang aking sarili sa pumagitan ng aking pagsunod sa Kanya, hindi na ako maghahanap pa ng iba. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, gathered like the crowd in the gospel and hunger for the Word of God, we turn now in with confidence to our Heavenly Father who never fails His people and their needs. And every petition we say, You are our bread, O Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That the church throughout the world may be your witness in word and deed to God's love and concern for the hungry and the needy. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That world leaders and all who hold positions of great power may help distribute the world's resources in such a way that no country may be in danger of famine. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That as a community, we may be men and women of prayer, and that we may be prepared to give our time and talents to help those searching for the meaning of life. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That the sick and the suffering may experience the sustaining love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. That the faithful departed may enjoy forever the eternal banquet in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our bread, O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, be mindful of us who are in need of your mercy. Fill our hearts with your love and never allow us to be separated from you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness you have received already offer you fruit of the earth in work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness you have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of the human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Blessed 
please stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let's Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself we give. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation to Christ our Lord. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ascended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will afford out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we are less worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we are made to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, 
and, and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to know our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Peace Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter, enter under, under, my, under roof, my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. 
accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts and your never-failing care for them. Make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 